Hey guys, I just got done talking on part one about uh, all my favorite Zelda games. If you didn't see that, go back to it. Um, but I taught this one was about what do I think of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch? Man, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, there ain't a whole lot of bad things to say about it, and I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't, I, 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 it might be my favorite Zelda game. My favorite's Wind Waker, which I just got done talking about, but man, Breath of the Wild, what, what bad can you say about it? Um, Breath of the Wild took Zelda and went in this completely different direction, uh, made it total open world, made it a lot more new aged like with new aged gaming how things work just the open world games letting you do what you want where zelda's always kind of been on a roller coaster where you go, have to go in this order to get to the next dungeon or the next palace whatever next temple and you always got to have a certain item to cross something to get there things like that. that's how it's always been and with breath of the wild you could go wherever you want and do whatever you want and then I just really, really liked that. Um, I really, really liked how you could climb everything in that game, which I thought was so cool because there was nothing, there was nothing that you couldn't get to that you wanted to take a look at, that you wanted. To, it, I mean, as of an adventure, it was just a perfect adventure. Um, any nothing was stopping you really from doing anything except when it rained. When it rained, it was really annoying when you're trying to climb and you're slipping all the time. got really annoying, especially at the beginning of the game when you don't really have a lot of stamina and things like that. But man, it, it, the, the good outweighs the bad by far, though. Um, there was just, where do I begin? Um, the shrines. The shrines are just basically like little riddles when you find them that give you these spirit orbs and when you get so many spirit orbs you're pretty much leveling up that's what you're doing you're getting heart hearts or more stamina and when you do that it's just so much fun to find these shrines there's a hundred and freaking 20 in the whole game and finding them is just fun I, i'm telling you it's just it's like you'll be going you'll be going on zelda to go somewhere and do something and then you'll see something else that, that, that across the way that looks far away. Or I'm sorry, doesn't look far away, but it is. You end up looking and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go to this tower that's in the sky over there. So you're running over there and you look on the freaking map and you ran like super far and it's been a half an hour. You know, and, and you're just fighting stuff, finding things. It's just, it's crazy how, um, it, it's hard to explain uh, unless you've played it. Um just doing whatever you want to do i guess is the best way to put it um i'm not going to go too much in depth like this is a freaking review because everybody already freaking knows that's watching this um it's been out now for a long time it's been out since march um and it's june right now so i'm not going to say a whole lot but it's just there's nothing bad to say about it that might be my favorite zelda game because of how you can get different attires. Um, I liked how your attires would uh, make you uh, colder or warmer. So if you're in a cold area, you got to wear a coat to get warm because you'll freeze to death. If you're hot, you got to go somewhere where you'll start burning. So you have to wear a certain armor so you don't burn. And that's still paying tribute to the old ones, like in Ocarina of Time. You got to go to the fire temple. So to go over in the lava and everything, you got to be wearing the fire armor, the fire tunic. So it paid tribute to the same thing. Um, one bad thing I could say about it also is I think at the beginning of the game, your weapons broke way too much. I know everybody's bitched about that, but I think it is, you know, doable for a gripe. I would complain about it, and I don't think it's, it's bad to complain about. Hey, you're not nitpicking. Um, I do think that was one thing that was uh, pretty retarded. It was frustrating because you might find a sword like, oh, cool, I finally got this decent-looking sword. Well, then it seemed like in three or four enemies it's already breaking. So it's like, okay, back to a tree branch. <laughs> so 
Um, and once you level up, though, and you get a bunch of weapons, and, and you, you get a bunch of hearts, and you get farther in the game, then you got too many weapons, because your weapons last so freaking long. So it, 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 it's like it starts out hard, and then as you progress on, though, it gets so much easier, and, it's, and then none of that matters. Kind of same with the rain on the rocks. Oh, when you're trying to climb rocks and it's raining, it's hard to, to climb up and it pisses you off. But see, as you get farther in the game and you have more stamina and you can jump higher, even when it's raining, you can usually get where you need to go because then you also get these powers where one of them that I used all the time was you shoot up into the sky and then you can float um, with your paraglider. So... Um, it really, the rain didn't really affect me at that point. Um, I think I got, I posted it on my Instagram, I got like 113 shrines deep in that game with no strategy guides, no nothing. And I spent over 130 hours on that. And let me tell you, that was very well spent. And I, when the DLC comes out, I'll probably turn it back on and play it. Um, that game is the only reason the Switch is a good system right now. Without Zelda, the Switch would be garbage, in my opinion. Because um, I'm not playing a whole lot else, and Mario Kart's not doing it. So Zelda really, really, really saved the Switch, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, Zelda Breath of the Wild might be my favorite freaking Zelda. The Ganon fight was cool. Super cool at the end when you got to shoot him with your bow. You got to shoot the light arrows at him. Um, it was a really cool fight for the most part. All the freaking dungeons, the way that you use the, the switch um, to look around in the dungeon. It would be like a map on the screen. Excuse me. In the lower left or the lower right. And um, I think it was the lower right. And you could like take control of it like it'd be an elephant. And you can move the trunk here and there so that you, when you're running through the trunk, you can get to where you need to get to. It was just a different way of doing the dungeons. It's hard to explain. Like I said, anybody watching this, I'm, I'm sure you've already played the game. But um, the dungeons, I thought, was paying tribute to the old ones, but yet it was something new. And I mean, they just they did a perfect job. I can't say enough about the game. It's it's so good. It was getting 10 out of 10 in the reviews. And usually I would roll my eyes at that kind of stuff and say, oh, come on, you know, is, is um, I don't know, is, is Skyrim that good? I've never played Skyrim, but is it that good? Is it a freaking 10 out of 10? You know, um, it's got to have flaws in it. You know, Fallout was good. I love Fallout, but Flaw uh, Fallout had flaws in it, though. I could find flaws that would make me say, okay, that's not a 10, then, because a 10 is a freaking perfect. But Zelda, I would say, is a 10 out of 10. It's like one of the first ones out of all these great games I play. Zelda Breath of the Wild is, is probably one I'd give a 10. It was that freaking good. And one thing that makes me wonder is, now going forward... It makes me think, if they go back to old Zelda, I don't know if fans will like it. I think fans that want it to go this way, I think they're going to have to do the same thing. And they're going to have to keep going Breath of the Wild style. And um, and they're going to have to make it open world. Unless they have some kind of like retro throwback Zelda. Um, but I just don't think that it'll, uh, it'll work out. I think they should keep it open world. But yeah. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like I said, this isn't a review, but if you haven't played it, oh my god, if, you, if you're if you a fan of Zelda even a little bit, fuck that, if you're not even a fan of Zelda, you have got to go play that game. That is a reason to get the Switch. That's, you know, 200 hours worth of something that you could easily put into it. Especially once all these DLCs come out and shit. You, you gotta play Zelda Breath of the Wild. 